Hi, I'm Alfred Bundy. Welcome to this special edition of Meet the Leaders. We're here in Trenton at the New Jersey State Legislature, where we're talking to New Jersey legislators about on this very busy day uh, in Trenton. Joining me now is Assemblywoman Angela McKnight yes. from Hudson County. Uh, tell us a little bit about your district. Hi, so I represent the 31st, which is all of Bayonne and parts of Jersey City. Okay. Now, we've got more women in the legislature. What bills and money is in this bill, in this budget, that you think are going to help support women? Well, we have for the senior freeze, there are a lot of women seniors. We also have money in the budget for veterans, and there's money in the budget for education. And we know there are a bunch of women in, in education. Now, we understand, too, that there was some concern about some dollars that were supposed to be going towards women health care centers. Yes. Now, I understand you're still going to vote on that, but it's been moved around or taken out the budget. Is that correct? Well, it's been moved around, but we need to make sure that we have money for women's health care. I'm a proponent for making sure that women have the adequate health care. Now, do you have any bills that you're sponsoring, co-sponsoring in today's 167 <laughs> bills that you're going to look at? Yes, I have a few. One, Tell us about them. One is a AJ51, um, 50, that is a task force to look at senior housing, mm. because there are a lot of seniors who, you know, still looking for a place to stay. So I want to make sure that that task force look at everything, like when from the time that they apply to how long they apply. So that, that's one of my bills. And then I have a bill for advertisements. For small business owners can advertise their company on garbage receptacles. Oh, yes. okay. Well, that, that's, that's important now yes. because a lot of small businesses are, you know, sometimes are struggling, but at the same time, they're the backbone of our economy. What are we doing here to draw more people to bring their company, to bring their business to New Jersey? Do you see uh, what we're doing here in New Jersey in that area? Well, development is number one, and number two is just community. There are a lot of people that are moving to New Jersey. You know, they say some people are moving out of New Jersey, but there are people moving into New Jersey because we are the Garden State. And a lot of small businesses, we're right across the street from New York, so why not come over here in New Jersey? <laughs> and it's not quite as expensive to live here as Absolutely. it is in New York. Absolutely. Uh, uh, the opioid crisis, drug addiction, really a very serious issue going on in our state. Is there any money in this budget that you can see to help support, deal with this problem? Yes, there is money for opioids um, addiction. We have to make sure that that is in the budget because there are many people that are suffering. They have been suffering and we have more people that are suffering. So whatever we can do to compensate, to help people get off the drugs, um, is or it, treatment yeah, we, as well. Yeah, it's treatment, but also it's, I think there's an education yes, piece there's too an education. where we start with the younger children. Okay. Absolutely. We need to educate our children firsthand mm -hmm. to let them know that drugs are not the way to go. And there, there are other things that you can do, like play sports or, you know, get into the STEM program, you know, other recreational programs. Pick up a book and read. Amen. You know, and talk. Amen. Mental health. <laughs> uh, the Community College Opportunity Grant is a pilot program. This, the governor's just wrapping up. Uh, is that in the budget? And do you support that uh, college opportunity grant program, which, which in some cases will provide free tuition for, to junior college students? Yeah, so in Hudson County, Hudson County Community College, they were a recipient, and there were many students that were able to um, go into college for free. And that program has to continue because there are so many people that you know want to go to college, but college is not as affordable mm -hmm. as many parents and students can afford. So we have to make sure that that's in the budget so that more people can get a, a better education. The governor beat the drum to have a millionaire's tax. He's very serious about it. Is that going to be in the budget? Well, we do have a budget that's going to be up today that we have to vote on. And then once it, if it passes out today, it will go to the governor as well as from the Senate. And I know leadership and as well as myself and others, we will have to talk to make sure that the budget that is finally signed is for is fair and it's for all communities. So we, we're not sure if the millionaire's tax is going to be in there. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to have a shutdown this year? I pray not. I hope not. And I uh, we, we don't want that. We, we don't never want another shutdown. So we have to make sure that we all work collectively to avoid that from happening. Because we are in New Jersey. We need to make sure that New Jerseyans have a great summer. 
We want to thank Assemblywoman Angela McKnight for being here on Meet the Leaders. Thank you for your service to New Jersey. Thank you so much. Have a good one.